Okay, well, if I could ask you to introduce yourself and the company and tell us a bit about the company. Yeah, uh, my name is Vasily Karelis. I'm the CEO of Wartac Resources, um, which is an aim quoted natural resource exploration and development company um, with uh, a diversified portfolio of projects in. Uh, in, in various jurisdictions, um, we're in the DRC, we're in uh, Zambia, we're in um, Eritrea and uh, originally in Slovakia as well. Um, in, in the DRC we have got a 45% effective interest in a, a gold project, uh, the Akianga Gold Project, where there's a 1.5 million ounce current resource and third resource. And they're drilling at the moment looking to expand that resource. In Zambia, we have an effective 19-20% uh, interest in a copper cobalt project, a very interesting one, and very pertinent to the EV markets these days. And um, in Slovakia, the original project, we've still got that, that's 1.3 million ounces of gold, um, where we've completed a pre-feasibility study, and we, that's going through the motions of uh, permitting. And finally, in Eritrea, we, um, a twin, an 18, 19% interest in a company that's exploring to the south of uh, Nefson's Bisha mine. So quite a hot terrain, uh, and yet to make that uh, key discovery, but uh, hopefully they will in due course. So a lot going on, but there have been quite a few changes to the company recently, is that correct? That's correct. Um, you know, since the beginning of the year, we had uh, Mr. Nick von Schoenling join the board. Uh, and. Uh, he has uh, subsequently he joined as a non-exec director. He subsequently became chairman of the company, with the current chairman stepping down as an as a, to an NED position. And then, likewise, one of the NEDs we had retired, and we have Mr. Brian McMaster join the board. Um, and uh, the company has sort of uh, refocused the the sort of a focus of the company slightly changed, and we more or less focused on our uh, Zambian and uh, DRC interests. Uh, and that's where we, we're moving forward, uh, that's where we see the interest. And is that focus also on cobalt rather than lithium, do you say? That's right, I mean, in, in Zambia it's a copper cobalt project uh, and that's, um, it's obviously very interesting uh, for the EV market. I mean, I was, uh, around about this time last year, I actually went down to Guildford where the Cobalt Institute is, who are the authority on cobalt. And, uh, I mean, if you look at 2016 to where we are today, the cobalt price has gone from $20,000 a ton to nearly $60,000 a ton. So I think it's about a 160-odd percent increase over a period of a year. And likewise with copper, if you look at the beginning of the year, it was $4,400, and today we're $6,800. So again, a 55% increase in, in that. So um, we're, we're an elephant country with both with the, with the, the Congo and, 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 the, the, D, and uh, the DRC and the Zambia. Um, and both very interesting projects. Yeah, very interesting. And would you say new projects, things that people perhaps haven't looked at before, it seems? That's right. Well, um, in, the, in, in the DRC, um, the Akianga deposit, the company that uh, got the license where we have an effective 45% stake, they were the first ones to actually drill any holes on this area, in this area. And they've identified a 50 kilometre long gold belt. Um, where in the center of it they've got the Akyanga deposit where they currently got one and a half million ounces but over that gold belt which is 50 kilometers long they've actually wrapped three contiguous mining licenses uh, that are valid for another 30 odd years and they spent the best part of 15 20 million dollars um, from 2009 up until 2012 identifying various prospects and that was you know from drilling to trenching to soil sampling to geophysical work so, although at the moment they're at a one and a half million ounces and they're drilling looking for two, I'm fairly confident that that actual resource base over that gold belt could be easily five to ten million ounces given time. And it seems like an exciting area to be working in. Is that why people should invest in your company then? That is the big question. That's right. I mean, um, you know, we, as I said, we've refocused the company for that particular reason. We're looking for things where in the near and short term, it's interesting, it's pertinent to today's, industry, to today's market, uh, particularly on the cobalt and copper side as well as the gold side. So, um, you know, if you want to find an elephant, you've got to go where the elephants roam. And, uh, you know, the, the, some parts of Africa are not everyone's cup of tea, but I think if you've structured the company properly and you've got good people on the ground, then you can operate in those jurisdictions. Just before I let you go, what makes your company different then? There are many resources and mining companies here. What would you say do you think makes your company well, different? We, we've got a diverse portfolio of projects um, with a diverse commodity exposure. So, you know, from gold, copper to strategic metals um, uh, and in various jurisdictions as well. And, you know, 
where we are today with our current market cap, I would say even the, the Zambian investment on its own would substantiate our current market capitalization. So we, you know, there's, there's certainly a lot of upside um, with all the projects, but you know, particularly with the one in Zambia and the one in the DRC. Excellent. Great. Well, I'll let you enjoy your evening now. Thank yeah, you very thank much. You very nice. Thank you.